I, I want to start with the pride and joy of what I feel like is this transfer class and Cole Martin. Yeah. Sorry, no, you're like fifth on that list. Rats. Uh, Cole Martin is just an absolute dog. It's somebody that every single coach at Arizona State has so much praise for on that defensive side of the ball, Kenny Dillingham um, as well. It's a dude that in 2023 had 21 total tackles and an INT. Uh, played in 11 games for a really, really, really deep, talented Oregon team. And Cole Martin is a perfect example of what Kenny Dillingham wants to do at Arizona State in terms of bringing the most talented Arizona high school athletes back to Tempe or get them to Tempe before they even depart for a school like Oregon. Uh, he was the number one cornerback in Arizona by 24-7 sports in his class in the 24-7 sports composite, ESPN and Rivals. He was a top five recruit in the state. Number three by ESPN, number three by Rivals. Um, like, this is a kid that literally is one of the most talented defensive backs to come out of the state of Arizona in the last decade. And he's back at Arizona State. And in reality... Back in Arizona. Back, yeah. Back in Arizona, at Arizona State. And he is... I mean, he's going to be a, a bona fide starter for the side of a defense. Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is a huge ad because you lost... Uh, Roe Torrance. Yeah. And, and he is a he's a prototypical outside corner, 5'10, 180. Um him and him and Ed are like that's your that could be your prototypical one two cornerback duo. Um yeah, he's he's a huge piece. But again, like take everything off the field or on the field of what he's gonna bring, which is gonna be a lot. Off the field, this just it sends a message. Like Kenny's not bullshitting you guys. Like he wants to he wants to keep the talent in Arizona. You, you look around the country at, at talented football players that left the state of Arizona and went to go thrive at other places, and you could list them for hours, but it's not just in football. It's in basketball, too. It's everywhere. Like You need to try to keep these guys and getting them back in the portals a step in the right direction, but getting them originally to commit to your school as a freshman is is where you want to be, and I think you're, they're going to get there, and this is just evidence of that. Yeah, 5'10", 180, but almost a, a five-star coming out of high school at Basha, um, and his prospect rating as a transfer was around the same level. Yeah. Like He was exactly what you thought he was going to be. Yeah, and, and it's funny you bring him up as a prototypical outside corner because that's not where he's going to play. He's going to play at that nickel spot yeah. uh, for Arizona State and Brian Ward's defense. In it's It was just... It was interesting to hear what Brian Ward had to say about Cole Martin because this is a guy that has coached across the country. He's coached NFL-level talent, and he was just like grinning from ear to ear didn't even have like the right yeah. words to describe yeah. a guy like cole martin but enough of me talking about it this is what brian ward had to say uh, about the golden goose defensively in cole martin well he, he just brings a bigger presence at nickel i mean he he's about 15 pounds heavier than the guy that we played you know most of most of the time last year um you know he has a great football pedigree but, you know, I'm just excited to see him grow in our defense. And, you know, he really is. I mean, it's funny, Coach Dillingham and I were talking about it yesterday. Like, you don't really recruit nickels. This is something you don't because they're kind of an anomaly. And, and the nickels usually that are, like, guys that you just recruit, recruit to play nickel, um, there's maybe only, you know, three to five of those guys in the entire country every year in every recruiting class. And they're highly recruited by specific programs. And... So I just haven't made a habit of it. Um, when I was at uh, Syracuse, I, you know, I recruited um, Afatu Melifanwu and and, uh, and Trill Williams to be nickels, um, but I really recruited them to be corners. Well, both of them, Trill turned into a nickel for us at Syracuse, and I was with the Dolphins, and, and uh, Afatu was a corner for us at Syracuse, and now he's playing nickel and safety. So, um, you know, it's, it's hard to find, like, here's your prototype nickel, okay? Your nickel is a guy that, he can play man in the slot on third down when you need to play man. He's big enough that he can get a good reroute and he can play his own. He has great short area quickness where he can tackle out in space. So if you get too big and too long, you're not a great spatial tackler. If you get too big and too long, you may not be a great, uh, you know, level one, level two man route guy. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, so it, it's he's one of those anomalies. He really is. He's, he's just he's kind of a rare breed. So. He really is. He, he is a unicorn at nickel. So um, we're fortunate to have him. I'm, I'm excited to see his growth. All Pac-12 animal team. A, gold, a goose and a unicorn. We <laughs> love that. It, yeah, it is interesting to see he was recruited strictly to play nickel. I mean, yeah. they got a lot of guys that can play nickel. You, you think of 
Montana Warren and Keith Abney, the two stud freshmen last year, who all could also play nickel. Yeah. Um, but a guy like Cole Martin, who is built like a nickel and is going to play nickel, is is, is really fun. <laughs>